Another important part of the Experience Manager product is publishing content. In other words, making the content available for visitors across channels. In order to make content available on the public channels through the content delivery role, a content author or administrator can publish a uh, can trigger a publish operation, or an automatic publishing can happen through, for example, a scheduled job or a workflow. Publish operations can be triggered on specific data, or in psychoterminology uh, terminology, items, or whole item structures, or even more broadly on, for example, all items changed since the last publish. A complete republish of the entire master database can also be triggered. For large-scale publishing needs, for example, when there are many simultaneous editors or a low tolerance for publishing latency, publishing operations can be moved to a separate role and scaled as needed. We will look into this option later. During a publish operation, the content management role reads items from the master database and moves them to the target of the publishing operation, the web database. Through the content management role, it's possible to preview the content potentially being published and also view the final published content available in the web database. Once a published operation has updated the web database, we now need to update the correspondence. SciCore allows you to define and configure different indexing strategies depending on your system requirements and configuration. Please information. The default indexing strategy is based on the database event queue, which is a scalable feature that makes it possible for different roles to signal and react upon events in the system. This strategy re-indexes only the specific published items. However, the strategy also defines a configurable threshold. So when more than this number of items are published, the content delivery role will do a full re-index of the entire web index. SciCore ships with other standard indexing strategies or custom strategies can also be developed. Please refer to the documentation for more information. So by the end of the publish, a content management, uh, the content management role adds an event to the target database, the web database, which can be picked up by an indexing role. In other words, a content management or content delivery role configured to handle indexing. In this example, the content delivery role reacts to the event and will start updating the corresponding web index with the updated content. The web index is used through the SciCore Search API to retrieve content quickly based on common properties or metadata, or to power free text or faceted search. The indexing role also maintains specific feature indexes for the experience platform such as um, for the experience platform functionality, such as the Federated Experience Manager. <clears throat> as part of the publishing operation, the content delivery role would clear relevant memory caches in order to serve the newly published content to visitors. In some cases, the search indexes for Sitecore needs to be refreshed completely, for example, after deployments. This re-index operation is triggered through the SciCore control panel and the operation is run on the content management role, but it can update both the master and web indexes. For scaling and security reasons, multiple publishing targets can be defined. This makes it possible to publish specific content areas to separate web databases, for example, for security reasons, or to make specific or all content available in multi multiple locations for geographic scaling or failover reasons. In these situations, multiple content delivery servers can retrieve content from its own web database and web index. During publish operations, publish events will be added to all target databases. This will trigger indexing operations on the individual indexing roles. In the default configuration, the content management role can only access one set of web database and web index. Therefore, in these, scaling, in these scaled scenarios, it's not possible for an administrator to manually trigger a re-index of the web indexes for all publishing targets. 
Therefore, a custom solution has to be provided for the system to be able to re-index the multiple web indexes. Please refer to the Sitecore API documentation for more information. The content publishing role is part of the optional publishing service module, which caters for high performance and high availability publishing in large scale Sitecore setups. The publishing role is a separate .NET Core application running as a separate web service and which can run on a separate server. The publishing role is triggered by the content management role when a user or scheduled job triggers a publishing operation. The content publishing role will then publish batches of items from the master database to the target web database. <clears throat> the publishing role can be scaled horizontally However, the architecture of the, uh, the Sitecore publishing system is designed as a queue and does not allow parallel publishing. Therefore, horizontal scaling of the content publishing role caters exclusively for high availability and automatic failover, not for increasing the throughput of publishing operations. Once the publish operation is complete, the content publishing role adds an event to the event queue in the master database. The content management role will pick up the event and add event, an event to the event queue of, to the web on the web database. This is picked up by the indexing role, in this case the content delivery role, to make sure the indexes are updated and the caches are cleared. <clears throat>